if you look at a company like ours, we make incredible kind of, you know, it, it, at our core, we're a materials company. You know, we, we probably, if you look at what's the common thread between gas turbines, an MR scanner, uh, jet engine, a locomotive, it's material technology. So that's kind of who we are, that's where we're, our patents are, stuff like that. Um, and we do unique shapes. So a shape of a turbine blade and where the holes go and what the coating is, that might be the difference in one or two points of fuel burn in the way a jet engine works. And that's ten, uh, billions of dollars for our customers in terms of performance. Now the way that's made today is kind of subtractive, right? You, you get a block of something and you weld it and you arc it and you, you know, take the, the scrap and it goes someplace and that's how you make those parts today. And 3D printing allows you to make that product right the first time. It allows you to make it from the core up so you basically don't have as much waste, the tooling's cheaper, the cycle time's faster, and that is the holy grail. So if I thought all 3D printing could do was your shoes, I wouldn't be talking about it quite as much as I am today. But if you can make unique shapes with high-tech materials in a quick period of time, that, that is worth my time. You know, that, 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 that is worth a lot of investment. You know, I'm sitting on an airplane on the runway with the takeoff and somebody tells me, hey, those turbine blades were made on a printer. I'm not thinking that this was the smartest idea of me to get on that plane. Just uh, close your eyes and listen, listen, just fall asleep. But can yes, you I, don't, don't, <laughs> trust me. If there were those nice, quiet GE engines, I'm sure that will be quite easy to do. But seriously, can you, can you, I mean, you're talking about products which have incredibly high loads put uh -huh. on them, you know, have to meet the highest uh, standards of tolerances. And yeah, I, I think we've proven can it. You, you can print I, I think we're, I think we're, we're proving it right now. You know, our, uh, some of our new engines have advanced materials, some of which are made that way, small to start with. And, uh you know, fuel nozzles, things like that. So the content is going to grow over time. But I, like I said, you know, I, I think this is one of the things. You know, in other words, there's, there's, there's stuff that's like just a cartoon. <laughs> and there's stuff that you say, hey, this is really worth time, attention, money, and effort. This is the latter, not the former, right? And yeah. over, I haven't done this a fair amount of time. I'm not perfect at it yet. But you develop a better sense of like what's a cartoon <laughs> and what's really worth spending a lot of time on. I put this in the spend a lot of time on it. Does it um, open up the possibility of much more customizable manufacturing? Oh, sure. It used to be that you know manufacturing was all about big economies of 